All right, I am really pumped about this video, guys. I just got my Rebalo 266 Cayman back from the dealer. They got the final riggings done. I got a bunch of stuff added, modifications, and I've been doing some stuff in the last uh, couple weeks that I've had the boat. I'll walk you through everything. I got one that I think every center console should do. It's just blowing my mind how well it came out and I did it myself. I'll put all the details in this video. Let's walk through it out on the water. This boat's not made to be at the dock. I'm going fishing. All right, before we get into this video, I do want to make one mention. I am not affiliated with Fishtails. I am not affiliated with Robalo. I wish I was. Thanks to my amazing negotiating skills when I made this purchase, I got zero discount on this boat and on service. I just love it. And I'm, I'm going to share my journey with this boat and what I'm learning about it and how I'm using it here in Southwest Florida. But I just want to be clear. I'm going to be very complimentary in this video because I'm super happy, but I am not affiliated with anybody here. So just keeping it real. And with that, let's get on to the video. All right, I just caught a squirrel fish, so I think it's time to take a little break from fishing, and I'm going to show you the modifications that have been made. Let me get started with the biggest change that's going to help me fish in the very most, and that's the rod holders. I had four put in the front. They're 15 degree. One there. One here. And they're offset a little bit so that I can fish these two rods out here. Obviously, uh, mirrored it on the other side there. I was really, really missing those. All right, so that's rod holders in the front. Let's go to the back. This is pretty cool. Very happy about how this came out. I've got combo cup holder. A 15 degree. Check out that functionality. But I think it makes perfect sense. This is a chair here. You got your cup holder here. You need to convert that into a rod holder converted i'm really happy about that anyway these are both 15 degrees they're offset you can see this one's out a little more here this one is a couple degrees turn and then in the back there that one goes straight out that was the factory installed rod holder so i've got now i've got one two three four five six rod holders check, all right another thing check this out i had them install this really cool tool holder. So this tool holder holds, holds two knives, pliers, and then some baits. It fits perfect in here. I can't run into it. One of the reasons I love it here is I put my cutting table here when I'm fishing cut bait. And so now I've kind of got this workstation all set up right here. I think that's going to be perfect. Obviously it doesn't get in the way of the door opening. That came out beautiful. I'm super happy with that. All right, let me go up top. One of the things they changed is they lowered my anchor light so that if I were to have it up, I can get under my bridge. So I'm happy about that. The one thing they still got to do is get me a new antenna. They have one on order. They got a four footer on order. So all I have to do is literally unscrew this and screw in the new one. And they're going to ship that out to me here soon. They, they're just uh, on back order for that. All right. Now this is, this blows my mind. This came out better than I would have ever expected. Um, and it's this utility bar back here. I'm just playing around with how I'm setting it up. It holds, you know, my shears, pliers, uh, another set over there, two more cup holders. Again, I'm sitting where that seat would be. So, so very convenient for cup holders. I've got a hook out. My biggest issue when I bought this was how was I going to install this darn thing? And keep in mind, this is a seat that comes down. So I needed it to be removable and check out how simple this was my buddy brian helped me with this we came out we had a beard maybe two and we just debated a bunch of ideas and we we're about to leave this is absolute this is a true story we we're just about to leave we had an idea of coming down here and creating kind of a block that would hold it i just didn't want to drill into that seat uh, just adverse to that i'm so like we wanted to come up with a solution and he's like well, why don't we just strap the thing and it was that one last idea and it's just freaking amazing six bucks go to ace hardware look at these little velcro strap straps they just go underneath this cup holder and don't impact the function of that and now if i want to take this off boom undo the velcro and then i just pop these off these are just i bought these at some online store they're just quick disconnect rubber clamp-ons so all i got to do pull that off boom that thing's gone no big deal I'm super excited about this. You know, this isn't the biggest boat in the world, but I, I'm always looking for pliers. I'm always looking for my shears. And now I've got this workstation here that's just ideal. I absolutely love this thing. I've uh, been using it today and really enjoying it. All right, here's a, here's a pretty simple thing that I did is for garbage. Some people probably use those buckets in the back for garbage, which would be fine. 
for me, I'm a fisherman. I've got cast nets in both. This is a mullet net. And then over here, I've got a shallow water net. So I didn't want to do that. My, my cast net storage is being used for cast nets. So I love what, what, what I came out here. This is a collapsible garbage can I bought online. And it just straps in there. I can tighten it up a little bit if I wanted to, to make it to make it not move around. But what I really like about it is it's completely out of the way. And when I'm up here driving, all I got to do is reach around. And if, I, if I've got garbage, I can toss it in there and we're, we're done. Super simple, obviously. Highly, highly functional garbage can right there. One of the other things that they did was they installed my 3-in-1 transducer. We just had a little mix up on my invoice, to be honest. 3-in-1 transducer wasn't installed, which gives me side scan and down scan. And so they installed that. I picked the boat up this morning and drove out the canal and it wasn't working. And so I called them and I talked to the their certified Simrad technician and she tried to walk me through it. And at one point she just said, she said, let me meet you at your dock. I said, I'm up by Sanibel. I, I'm not at home and I'm not gonna be home for a little while. I, I got the day off, I'm going fishing. I'm, I wanna be out all day, you guys should have fixed this. And she literally said, well, let's meet somewhere. And so we met over at Punarasa dock. She literally just boarded the boat and in about 10 minutes had it fixed. So it was one of those things where she kind of had to just see it, super knowledgeable lady and got me got me squared away. So I'm super excited about that. Now I've got my, my side scan and my down scan. So looking forward to using that. Had to tell that story about amazing service for my dealer fishtails. Uh, Amanda, thank you so much for uh, jumping in the car and coming out here. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, that's, I'm getting great service and that's just above and beyond. I mean, I, I wish it was working when I picked the boat up. It's not tarpon season, so I'm not using side scan religiously right now, but I do want everything to work. She wanted everything to work and she made that happen. So thanks again, Amanda. When my dealer had the boat on the lot and they were doing the things I just showed, there's two things that they called me about and said, hey, do you want this? Uh, one of them I can't really show, but it is, they wanted to put strainers in my live well. So my live wells are running constantly. They're always on, I'm fishing shallow, stuff gets sucked in there. And my port side live well was running slow or was running, the pump was running low. I knew there was just weeds in there and I asked them to clean it. They cleaned it, but then they also just put strainers in there to prevent that from happening. So love that they suggested that. The second one I'm even more excited about, they put this Minn Kota brace on here to prevent that thing from bouncing up and down. So that's something that's really bothered me. I've been looking for a device. I saw that Minn Kota had one, but it didn't fit. I didn't think it would work for an Altera. And they modified this a little bit to, to work. Really happy about that. They called me and said, do you, wanna, do you want us to modify a brace for your Minn Kota? And I was like, yeah, lucky for sure. So that's pretty cool. Excited about that brace. Okay, another modification that I made that is super cool is I had the man overboard installed, a device by Fell Marine, and it's just an electric kill switch. It's the law to have your kill switch on now at certain speeds. And so this, this product is just amazing in my opinion. Um, all I have to do is I have a wearable here. So I can either wear this on a necklace or just it's got a belt clip. That's how I have it today. If this gets wet, the boat shuts off. So pretty amazing product. Uh, Fell Marine, check them out. It's not that expensive. Uh, All right, well, that wraps it up for the modifications right now. I, I'm pretty well set up. Like I said, I'm 95% of the way there. I just got to get that antenna installed and I'll be all set to go. I, I was going to fish a little longer, but um, true story here on Canal Life, I dropped my brand new iPhone 15 Pro uh, somewhere off of Point U Bell right now. <laughs> I was talking to my buddy Mike and uh, anyway, hopefully he understands that I, I, I didn't mean to be rude, but uh, I... I didn't uh, say goodbye properly. <laughs> iPhones don't float. Uh, I found that out the hard way. And so off to the Verizon store I go. But, all right, that's all I got. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And if you want to know anything more about this boat, please drop it in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe if you like this stuff. Um, I'm going to keep making videos on my boat. I'm having the time of my life with it. And that's what it's all about. So.